This is my new saxophone and I'll give it away now, Stargel. Oh, it's upside down, isn't it? So I don't usually make unboxing videos, but um, when I was looking to buy a saxophone, I couldn't find any information on this. Um, so it's a bit of a gamble, but um, I got it from bettermusic.com. And they're offering free shipping in Victoria, so that was a selling point for sure. It's just English. Just English. English. Let's forget about that price now. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked at that. I hope they set it up. Like I hope it's not just straight from Taiwan. Alrighty. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, I also bought a body swab because my one is garbage. So that's a nice one. So I've been playing for about five months solidly and then dabbling for a few years before that, but this is my first proper saxophone play. Oh, that looks good. That looks really nice. Yeah. So this is a Chicago um, Superior Alto in vintage bronze. So it's an unlacquered horn. And I've been using, this is one my grandpa got me like two years ago. And it's clunky as hell. It's got a nice tone, but it's pretty clunky. Like this octave key um, makes like three pads stick. And um, all the pads are super old. I did spend a couple hundred bucks on it, trying to get it set up, but it can only come so far. So, got this bad boy. Let's see. Top pocket. That looks like a decent size. Get some sheet music in there. The zips feel really good, actually. Ooh. Everything feels really solid. Got protective plastics on the bottom. Roller wheels. I did not know that it would come with roller wheels. That's cool. So this is where the shoulder straps would hook onto. Backpack straps. They don't look super comfy, but do the job, I guess. Yeah, it's a bit clunky, but that'll loosen up over time. I like that you can hide that away. Just hook them up, cover it. Once you, once you have them open, you can put this underneath, so that's not just gonna flap around. Yeah, all right. Well, let's get into it. That's kind of awkward. I'm so excited, oh my god. I've been really anxious to get this. It's my screensaver for like a month. I'm teasing the hell out of you, aren't I? Oh. So we got, ooh, that's nice. Let's go through the accessories first. Got in here mouthpiece ligature. It comes with a ligature. I did not know that. 
This is a student for mouthpiece. It's an actual Chicago mouthpiece. I did not know that was going to come with it. I thought I was getting a five with it, but mouthpiece, ligature with the cap. We got polishing cloth. fresh in there and dry in there. Jin Young Silica Gel. As opposed to Jin Old Silica Gel. Cork Grease. I've already got some Cork Grease. Looks pretty cheap. Next trap. Already got one of them, but back up. I really like this finish. It's just this unlacquered vintage bronze look. Nice. It feels as though the cork's been greased from the factory a little bit and then dried out, but really thin cork on there too. I haven't got much to compare it to because I've just got a 50 year old horn. Wow. Wow. The pearls on this is super nice. Oh and the action as well. That's super cool. Okay, so let's take it out. Oh man, it's heavy. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. Wow. Oh, this is exciting. Nice. Alrighty. I'll give you some close-ups of this actually, because it's a really cool finish. Some pearls. Oh, so classy. You say look at the belt. Yeah. yeah. It's like it definitely has a clear coat on it. It's not just unlacquered. It's got a clear coat on there to protect it. It hasn't got like a gold lacquer. The engraving looks really nice. Even the... Yeah, so this is a superior horn. It's got the superior engraving there. Double supports on those lower pads. I mean, can't wait to come and have a look. You can come and have a look. Yeah. I might go ahead and try my mouthpiece I've been using. The read I've been using the new ligature on this horn and see how we go. Alrighty. Goes to the next next to each other. Gonna lather this one up. If you get a new horn, you better start taking care of your cork straight away because I've seen people do unboxings and they get the new horn out and they just wrench the mouthpiece straight on a dry cork. It's like, why? This is a Tone King mouthpiece. I don't know what tip opening, but um, it came with my vintage Alto. I'm using a Van Doren V16 two and a half. You can't wait, can you? I can't wait. Do you want to hear what it sounds I'm like? I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is that where it usually is on the album? Yeah. Completely different setup. This is a massive G sharp key. It's super like in and out, in motion. And then this is just odd. I've got a really small key to find here compared to the other one. It's gonna take a lot to get used to.